Hello everyone, welcome to practice for round number three of our F1 2018 career mode on our factor. A bit of a different practice session for us, as you can see, it is absolutely tipping it down. In fact, it's actually a monsoon. Uh, I'm not making that up, it's actually a setting, it's a monsoon and it. We, by the looks of the weather forecast, we have it for practice one. Uh, well, we have it for practice and we have it for qualifying, but unfortunately, uh, we're not really going to learn much because the race is actually dry with a bit of mixed conditions. You can see the back end is already stepping out on us. Pardon me. At the back end is already stepping out on us. We have got a tire also in front of us, so luckily it won't be this bad in the race because the spray would be everywhere. But we are going to skip on to the race because we didn't actually do qualifying because. There wasn't really any point do it setting a time. Being that uh, they I have a bit of an advantage over us because they do have like some sort of traction control really. Uh, and I am going to admit, halfway through this world, towards the end of this race, I do turn on traction control. I turn it onto medium because simply this mod on the power is quite hard to get the traction down. And as soon as I turn the traction control onto medium, uh, it did actually help us keep up with the AI coming out of corners, which is good. You still get quite a lot of wheel spin, but it does help a bit, obviously. So we are in 20th, currently behind a Renault. So, and I think he's on the hyper soft tyres, so he does have another tyre advantage over us as well. Which is a bit of a shame. Uh, but at least we can go, a, hopefully, a little bit of a longer stint than him on the ultra soft and back end getting very leery there through the uh, the fast left right uh, at Shanghai coming now to the down to the left hander and then to the right for the very long right hander and I call it the tie puncher this corner because just look how long you're putting stress on the tyre around that corner and then the, you have a nice chance to breathe down the straight and as you can see, we are a second behind Nico Hulkenberg, who's making a move on the car in front, and that car is making a move on them. So, very, very good racing so far from the AI, because we are lacking behind, struggling with grip and braking and everything and traction. And obviously, the traction is sort of fixed now for the next race, so we should be all good. Uh, Knight jumping over the kerb there. Someone has lost their front wing. So coming across the line there to complete our first lap, hopefully, uh, with damage that the Toro Rosso Brendan Hartley has, uh, which we nearly have a full win taken off by him there, hopefully he comes in and maybe there are some other AIs that have similar front wing damage to him. So we're going to go round his outside into the fast right hander. Uh, would have been a better move if he had his front wing, because maybe he could have put up a better fight, but it's a position that we've made from last because obviously we're not having the best race but as you can see it is raining so being so low I thought may as well try a strategy and uh, Lance Stroll is using the strategy of just trying to retire the car uh, but yeah we're going to try and go on a different strategy and just go on the uh, intermediate tyres to see uh, if it can bring us any luck and jump some of the pack as they come into the pits maybe a lap later than us maybe not or maybe we may have made a completely wrong strategy. I just don't know yet. So it looks like Lewis has gone out on the ultra soft tyre. And so has the Force India. So maybe they think it's still dry enough for uh, dries. But it's going to get worse because obviously it's raining. So hopefully it bookies it down in a minute. And we can make up lots and lots of positions. Which will be fun. Uh... So, we are out onto the track. Is the conditions for intermediates? Ooh, there's, there's a little bit of understeer, but I'm going to say the conditions are for intermediates. But as you can see, we are now in the pits. We're going to go on to a set of hard compound tyres. This is going to get us to the end of the race, hopefully, because the rain has stopped. So, we are going to come in and wait a minute, and we are away. Out of the McLaren pit crew, P7, which isn't too bad really. So the strategy did work out on lap 7. I think Sebastian's, yep, Sebastian's gone past us and Daniel Ricciardo. And they are going to have a fight into turn 1. Fortunately, we could get a spin in pit lane. So we have served that. And whoa, we nearly ended up in the wall there. 
overtaken a couple of cars here who I think are coming out of the pit lane. Yes, they are. So we are currently in P10. We do have points for McLaren, which is good. Uh, but as you can see, yet again, somehow the McLaren is absolutely drinking fuel. Uh, and it's really frustrating. So at the end of the day, we're not going to finish this race. Or unless I can do some amazing fuel saving, we're not going to finish. But we're going to throw it up the inside. Maybe if two cars? No, we're not. We're going to throw it up the inside of one car and plow into the other car which was a really stupid mistake there so it looks like we've got to come in the pits again uh, maybe put on a set of supers or ultras probably ultras because they might get us towards the end even though we may not finish but you never know we might as well try so lap 12 and you can see we've only got two laps of fuel left so unless I can do some major 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 tyre saving and fuel saving we ain't getting until the end but we're on lap 13 we've got Sebastian Vettel in front of us and as you can see the fuel meter has run out so we are going to uh, well just again we've run out of fuel on the last lap which is annoying as you can see we're next to Sebastian Vettel and we're just going to end the car here you know just spin it into the wall because why not because we weren't going to finish but the car is still drivable the drive was quite funny but anyway Unfortunately, that is race over for us. Uh, quite a lot of retirements there as well. So Daniel Ricciardo ended up winning from Roman Grosjean, which is uh, quite bonkers. Maybe that may happen in real life. Don't know yet. So there's quite a lot of engine problems. So Lance Stroll actually didn't retire from suspension. He swallowed from an engine failure. So I do thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment down below what you thought about the race. Uh, and hopefully the next race will not be a monsoon and I can get a good setup and I can maybe win for McLaren Honda. So I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.